This one I'm signing up with because it is created by a Bay Area actor. And I, of course, want to support, you know, Bay Area people because I love the Bay Area and it's an actor that I have worked with before. And so, um, yeah, I'm bringing you guys along with me. So Aura Casting is a new casting company. So it's not like a casting website, a traditional one like LA Casting, SF Casting, Actors Access. It's not like that. It's a casting company. So casting office purely based online. So all of your auditions will either be live video auditions or they will be self tape auditions. So I'm signing up for it to see what happens. You don't have to be in the Bay Area for this. So according to their website, this is for jobs mostly in Sacramento, the Bay Area and LA which I can get to all of those very, very easily. So I'm going to be making a profile today. The only thing that right now I'm a little not so happy about is that in their Q&As um, or their FAQs, they say that there's not an actual profile that you can look at and edit. And if you do need to edit something, you get one edit and you have to email them to edit that. But it does say that it's temporary. So for right now, that's what it is. I personally don't like that because I often get new headshots. I will cut my hair, my hair will grow out. I will gain some weight, I will lose some weight. So I like the ability to be able to update my headshots. So as of right now, this company is starting out. Their website is still being developed. Based off of the website right now, it sounds like it's a lot of commercial auditions, which makes sense because in the Bay Area, there's a lot of commercial work. I do have to say I'm making this account because I have worked with him before um, and he messaged me directly saying, hey, if you wanna submit your information, um, cause we're, you know, we're working on a project. So when he emailed me, I was like, mm, another casting website, like, I really don't want to sign up for another one. I, I've said this before, but I wish there was like one way that you can submit everything to and everybody loved it, but there's too much money in all of these casting websites. So it's not a reality currently. Anyway, so he, you know, he answered my questions and because he is an actor in the Bay Area and um, somebody that I have worked with before, I was like, okay, I'm going to try it. And I thought I might as well um, show it to you guys too, in case you have seen this um, around, you know, uh, the Bay Area heard about it because I did have a few other friends who are from the Bay Area, other actor friends in the Bay Area who were posting about it too. So I'm going to try this out and whenever I get a casting call or I get booked on something through this, I will definitely update you guys and um, put it in a vlog or a video. And um, so let's go make this profile and see um, what, this is, what this is about. Let's see if we can get an audition. Um, so for this one, you make your profile, you submit all of your information, and then they contact you when they have something that they want you want to audition for. So you don't know, actually do any self submissions. You just put up all your information and then they contact you whenever they have something for you. So it is quite different from a lot of different casting websites, because again, this is a casting office, um, not a casting website like traditional one where you can do self submissions. It's a little bit different than the ones I've done before. It's definitely the first one of its type that I've done, which is why um, I don't know much about it. Okay, we're at my desk now and I am going to screen record so you guys can actually see this. I don't know much about Taylor, honestly. I know of him through that commercial that we filmed together, but that's pretty much it. I'm gonna submit my information. So I just go to auracasting.com and i'm gonna go down and then register down here he has a little video and then some info and he does say that it's a lot better on laptop slash desktop which again this indicates to me that their website is still being developed so it might not be the best if you're on your phone and trying to do this okay drag and drop or upload files below headshot and resume cool i'm gonna add a few headshots here um i don't know if there's a maximum but i'm just gonna put a few in there and then a link to a reel. And if you guys don't have a some kind of reel that you wanna use, I suggest filming yourself somehow as if it was a self tape audition and at least have a little bit of a sample of what you look like and what you are like on camera. Date of birth, please be honest. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys don't lie about your age, who cares? Primary location, I'm just gonna put the Bay Area although I'm both in the Bay and in LA because it seems like he has a lot more connections in the Bay, but I'm, I don't know, both places. Oh, can I put, oh, I can put two locations. Okay, so for primary location, you can put multiple things. So I'm gonna put both the Bay Area and LA. 
for my website because I don't have a website that I currently have updated and published. I'm going to put my IMDb Pro account because I feel like that's going to get a lot more information to you anyway if you are in casting. Body type, muscular, athletic, very thin, thin, petite, average. Okay, I'm currently 5'10 and 170 something pounds, 77, 78, so I'm just gonna put average. <laughs> Ooh, acting, specialty, nat naturalistic, commercial, classical, Shakespeare, improv, stand-up, pantomime, sketch comedy, host, extra, brand ambassador. Hmm. Oh, again, you can put several things. Modeling, no thank you. Singing, no thank you. Can I put, yeah, no, no, no. Let's put no, uh, none of the above. Don't want to dance. Yes, I'm fluent in Spanish. Oh, and you can add your talent rep. That's another thing that in the video they mentioned in their website, they mentioned if you do already have a uh, representation um, like I do in the San Francisco Bay Area, they can contact them directly. So if it is a bigger project and they need to, you know, work with your agent through that, then they can get to them directly. And they have a list of agencies. So if you guys are looking for agents in the San Francisco Bay Area, these look like a lot of, oh yeah, these look like a lot of San Francisco Bay Area agencies that I know a lot of my friends are also represented by. So Stars, JE Talent, MDT, which is who I'm with, Nilo, Models Inc, Scout, Look, Ray, Boom, Models and Tech. I've never heard of that one. Because this is an all at home based um, casting office, they're asking about the home setup for auditions. Do you have a designated light that showcases your face and body? Do you have quality audio that can uh, capture your voice? and can you perform in a quiet space uh, do you have high internet speed travel for out-of-towners if you book a job in San Francisco and production does not cover travel costs are you willing to commute so if essentially it's like are you willing to commute on your own dime and if this is a multiple day thing you have to think about where you're going to stay because you're going to have to pay for your own uh you know sleeping places sometimes you can negotiate it but usually not usually they just will cast somebody that is local so they don't have to pay that talent services I wonder if they're going to connect you with people or if they're going to have these services as part as the casting office it's asking are you looking for representation need headshots or need help with your demo reel which that's really cool because I know a lot of people in the San Francisco Bay Area that do a lot of commercials or a lot of theater they don't have the um the demo reel or sometimes they don't get that footage back so this is pretty cool spreading the word we are actively growing our talent registry do you give aura permission to use your fabulous headshots in social media marketing I'm gonna say no <laughs> For now. Did we miss anything we need to know about your skills? I don't know what else to put. Well, my 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 resume already has, you know, some of the stuff I have been in. It has um, my training. Um, anything else you need to know? I'm assuming this is special skills. Okay, so I did it. That was really, really easy. A lot of very basic questions. If you are going to submit to this, I highly, highly suggest that you make sure that your resume is as complete as possible because right now you're not filling out a lot of information of, you know, a lot of special skills or in general, like a lot of casting websites will have you answer all of these questions. Um, for this one, it was really straightforward. So make sure that your resume is very detailed. And since it is a, um, an online one, don't be afraid of it being more than one page. Of course, if you can make it just one page and have all of the best things in the first page then definitely have just one page because they're going to look through a lot of them and probably not even take a look at the second page make sure you have your reel ready because like they said you only get one correction right now so you want to have the best thing for your reel i just went ahead and put my reel my commercial reel from a couple of years ago because i don't have anything from 2020 i'm gonna save my like one chance to make that correction to be my new reel um because i do hope to have a 2021 reel very very soon but now you saw what it's like so make sure you have your headshots your resume and your reel ready to go when you are submitting to this so thank you so much for watching at the end of every video i feature another channel this is today's feature